Today's Bible study is found in Romans chapter 1, verses 18 and 19. In Romans chapter 1, verses 18 and 19, the Apostle Paul changes gears from telling of his strength and preaching the gospel of Christ Jesus to giving an explanation of the revelation of God's wrath. Paul explains that the wrath of God is revealed from heaven. In Romans chapter 1, verse 18 is quoted from the New King James Version. But he also notes in Romans chapter 1, verse 18, that God's wrath that is being revealed from heaven is against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. This is to those who are aware of God's righteousness, but yet refuse to share it with others. This is to those who are aware of the truth as it is revealed to us by God, but refuse to accept God's truth and refuse to share that truth of God with others. Paul also, Paul also tells us why the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness, as we learn from Romans chapter 1, 18. But in Romans chapter 1, verse 19, Paul tells us that it is because what may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has shown it to them. In other words, these people in which God is revealing his wrath are aware of God's ultimate plan of salvation in Christ Jesus for all who will believe in him, as we learn from Romans chapter 1, verses 16 and 17. But these people are not bringing glory to God as they are not sharing the gospel with others. And in all finality, the proof is given that God has shown it to them. As we learn from Romans chapter 1, verse 19b, which leaves no excuse for those who will be the recipients of God's wrath. This is the promise of the wrath of God being revealed to those who suppress the truth of God. The truth of God is the gospel of Christ Jesus. And to put it even more directly, we have the words of Jesus in John chapter 14, verses 6 and 7, as I quote from the Holman Christian Standard Bible, as Jesus proclaims, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. The last words of Jesus before he ascended to heaven in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, quoting from the New International Version are, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. We are the witnesses of Jesus and of his gospel in the world today. And if we are not sharing his truth with others, then we are subjecting ourselves to be the recipients of his wrath. Jesus stated in Matthew chapter 10, verses 32 and 33, as I quote from the English Standard Version, So everyone who acknowledges me before men, I also will acknowledge before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I also will deny before my Father who is in heaven. Dear Lord, please help us to see that we are your witnesses in the world today. And please give us the strength to stand tall in Christ Jesus and share the wonderful news of Christ Jesus with all who you put in our paths. But please help us to also be courteous to others, as it is not our job to force your gospel upon them, but to share it with them out of the love that we have for them. Please help us to be aware that everyone will not be receptive to Jesus, but even so we should continue to show them the love and kindness that you have shown to us that we would be reflective of Jesus to everyone as it is the job of your Holy Spirit to convict and to save. Our job is to share the gospel with all who will allow us and let you take over from there. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.